Hey guys! Today we're so excited to be making five healthier versions of our kids' favorites from breakfast to dessert. Made using our brand new 12 cup Vitamix food processor attachment. I love my Vitamix. I'm so oh. excited that they came out with this. Not only does it save prep time by chopping, mincing, and slicing with incredible precision, it's super easy to clean and it saves storage space in your kitchen by using just one base. Let's get started. Thank you to Vitamix for sponsoring this video. For breakfast, our kids love muffins. For a healthy twist, we're gonna sneak in a vegetable. With the help of a few chocolate chips. You'll need zucchini, banana, honey, brown sugar, coconut oil, vanilla, eggs, cinnamon, baking soda and powder, salt, flour, and chocolate chips. All right, here we go. Hey, let's do this. That's it. Good. Quick release. Next, the wet ingredients, then give it a stir followed by the dry ingredients. Oh, oh no. Ah, no. <laughs> you don't have to add a lot of sugar. The bananas and honey will make this sweet. It's looking, oh, it smells good. Okay, is it good enough, you think? What do we think? I think it's good. Okay. All right. Fill your muffin tins and sprinkle with chocolate chips. Bake for approximately 12 minutes. And like magic. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, you can't even taste the veggies. What do you think? I love them. Yay! <laughs> Next up, cauliflower mac and cheese. And for this hidden veggie fave, you'll need block cheese, cauliflower, veggie stock, milk, butter, mustard, nutritional yeast, panko crumbs, pasta, and seasonings. Preservatives are normally used to keep shredded cheese from clumping. I didn't know that. So instead, we're gonna use this large shred disc to make a healthier version. All right, let's do it. Next, we're going to bring in the multi-use blade to puree the cauliflower. <laughs> Pour the sauce over the pasta and mix it up. Oops, we spilled a little. <laughs> That's okay. Scoop into the baking dishes, sprinkle a cheese and panko crumbs, and bake until golden brown. What do you think, Sid? It's actually really good. Nice. Snack time. Instead of frying, we are baking nutritious sweet potatoes. You'll only need olive oil and salt. And this is so quick thanks to the thin sliced disc. So we're gonna show you in, in slow, slow motion. motion. Slow motion. Add everything to your bowl. Toss. Spread out. And bake on broil keeping a close eye so they don't burn. Let's see what she thinks. Good? Yeah. Oh, she liked it. <laughs> she <really> liked it. <laughs> Next, if your kids want pizza for dinner as much as ours, you'll love this healthier and easier to make dough featuring spinach, flour, yeast, salt, warm water, and olive oil. It comes together so quickly and cuts the kneading time down to just one minute. I love that. And while the dough is rising, let's slice up some toppings. Yeah. Bake approximately 15 minutes. These look so good. Let's see what the kids think. Mmm. Good? Wow. Yummy. That's good. <laughs> and finally, strawberry shaved ice. An all-natural dessert with just two ingredients. Strawberries and honey. To start, we're gonna switch out the processor with the original blender. It's that easy. Add strawberries, honey. Now we blend. Pour into an ice cube tray and freeze overnight. And then shred. It is so easy. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying. <laughs> All right, we hope your kids enjoy these recipes as much as ours did. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.